Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to a new artist. She's new to me anyway. Um, this one was requested a few times along with a few other songs by her, but this one was most recently requested. Um, so this is Elaine Duran. I'm guessing that's how you say her last name. Um, but this is Elaine Duran singing Someday. I'm not sure what Someday this is because there's like 20 songs called Someday. So I'm not sure whose song this is that she's singing. Um, so let's just jump into it because I'm, I'm really curious why so many of you were wanting to me react to her. was such a pretty run and there was like 50 notes and then she ended on that really low note oh it was so beautiful I know you don't really see my word you think you're the last guy on earth well I've got news for you no I'm not that strong struggling there a little bit trying to hit some of those notes but it it came out pretty well she did pretty well I, I just I could I could hear a little bit of struggle there I don't know what this little flickering thing is along the bottom of my screen what is that I can't get it to go away but yeah she did have a little bit of struggle there on that that little run let me see right there she was trying to hit some notes and she was trying to push and either her vocal range doesn't go that high normally or she has some damage i'm not sure which i don't i don't know i don't know her very well i don't know her really at all so i don't know what her vocal range is normally um but it sounded like she was trying to squeak out a note that she normally doesn't hit and is not comfortable with getting out um that being said she did make up for it pretty well i don't think I don't think she's bad. I just, I don't think she's a bad singer at all. I think she's phenomenal. She, she does some pretty runs. She does some, she has a huge range. I just, I'm not sure if maybe, I just don't know if that note is within her range where she's comfortable singing. So, but she, she makes up for it. So I'll, I'll give her, I'll give her that. <laughs> Yeah, that 
that ending made up for that that little oops in her voice. She's really good. I like her. So I don't know what show that is. What what was that? It was like Does that say Showtime? I'm not sure what that says. But it says Defending Champion. So it kind of reminds me of like how Star Search used to operate. So uh, Star Search was a show, uh, it started in the 80s, I believe. Actually, that's where Christina Aguilera, Britney Spears, Justin Timberlake, Aaliyah, Destiny's Child, and quite a few other people got their start. And my friend Vicky. Hey, Vicky, what's up? Vicky was on Star Search back in the day, too. Um, but it started in the 80s and went through 2004 when it was ultimately canceled because of a show called American Idol. So at the beginning of the season, two new contestants would come out, whoever had the most stars one that week then the following week you'd have a new contestant and then the defending contestant and then whoever had the highest stars you know stayed so if the person with the highest stars from the previous week still had the highest stars they stayed on for another week the new person came in and they had a higher star they got kicked out and they took their place really cool it made it for an interesting show uh they did have to change up their format a little bit when idol first came out so they brought the winners back from the first three from the the previous three seasons of 2001 from uh like 2002 3 and 4 or uh 2001 2 and 3 I'm not sure they you know how tv shows are they have like 17 seasons in like six years so they brought back the previous three winners which was Vicky Natale Jake Simpson and uh it was supposed to be this other girl uh what was her name? Chantel Doucette. And I really liked her. She was cool. But I think some I read somewhere or saw somewhere that she got a big head about winning a season of Star Search. And she's like, I'm too good for that. And so they brought in Freedom Bremner, who was he was amazing. So they created a winner circle. They got the previous three contestants got to hang out and back there. And then the, the two contest the two new contestants would come out. Whoever had the highest stars had to challenge someone from the winner's circle. And then whoever won that round got to sit back in the winner's circle. It was a pretty interesting way of trying to revamp it and keep the, the, and keep, you know, America's attention, but it ultimately only lasted one season. And then after that, it was gone. So I don't know if that's how this show works. If it's two contestants one week and then a winner for one week and then two, and then another contestant comes in and then the defending champion is, you know, I don't know if it's the same thing. If it is, please let me know because I'm I'm really curious about how some of the singing contests work over there cuz a lot of them aren't over here. So, I was just I was just curious how that singing show works. But I really like her. She has a really big range. She has a really nice tone. I like I like the runs she decides to do and how she decides to do them. Um especially like when she starts off, you know, even even in her mid-range and then she like did this thing and went all the way down to like a really low note okay. oh those are my favorites i think they're so pretty and she has a really beautiful lower register <sighs> but she has a she has a really i really like her voice i think she's really good so that's been it for this video so if you like these kinds of videos where i react to things please hit the subscribe button don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when i have new videos coming out and i will see you guys in the next one bye